So there's some trig equations that we just can't solve analytically, and we need some graphing utility, a graphing calculator, TI-84, right, um, to get our solution. So for this is an example of one of those. 5 sine of x plus x equals 3. Now, if you take a numerical methods, um, you can learn techniques that you could approximate by hand, um, but your calculator is so fast at doing this. Um, you know, for, for this course, you know, that's that numerical methods technique is a little beyond the scope of this class. That's more of a uh, junior level math course. Okay, so as opposed to freshman, right? So uh, we're going to express the solution or solutions rounded to two decimals. So two decimal places, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type um, in Y1, I'm gonna type Y5 sine X plus X, and then in Y2 I'm gonna type three, and then I'm do intersect. Okay, so I'm gonna look for the intersection. So let's do it. So let's, uh-oh. Uh let's go in here, and I'm gonna delete these two curves. And so the first curve is five sine x, close parentheses, plus x. Okay, and I want it equal to three. And then I hit enter, and I've got graph. Now look, when I look at this, I wonder if I can, can I zoom out? Let's zoom out, come on now. Why not, right? Okay, maybe let's just make it like this, see what happens. Oh yeah, so it looks like there's one, two, three, um, three solutions, okay? So looks like three solutions. Okay. So, three solutions. Now, uh, let's see here. Let me, let me just do a standard zoom. Okay, so I'm gonna do second calc, and I'm gonna find the intersection five. And it says left bound, so that's left bound, right bound. And so it looks like um, X equals 0.519 is a solution. So two decimals would be 0.52. So X equal to 0.52. That's one solution. All right, let's try another one. Second calc intersection. Let's try to find, so I wanna go left bound and I wanna go right bound. And so 3.177 rounds to 3.18. So x equals 3.18. That's another solution. And I'm going to do second calc intersection again. Left bound. I'm going to get on the left side. And then I'm going to get on the right side of where they intersect. And I get 5.710. So 5.71 is that last solution. Okay, so the solution set is 0 0.52, 3.18, and 5.71, okay? All right, that's all there is to it. Okay, so sometimes the only, only technique we have um, is to use a graphing calculator. If they ask for the exact answer, then you can obviously do it analytically. Okay, so some of your homework problems are asking for that solution. They don't say round to two decimals, so you need to figure out how you're gonna how you're gonna get the answer um, analytically, whether it be factoring, quadratic formula, um, you know, whatever you gotta do. Okay.